Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours and thank you for stopping by today. Today I'm out in Pasco, Washington and we're visiting the Homeboys. And I found us an affordable four bed, two bath built by Schultz that I think we should take a tour of. So let's head on outside. I'm going to tell you all about it. Here's the exterior of this home. What we have is a 312 pitch roof, plenty of windows, some vertical siding and some lap siding with a 20 foot open face dormer right here by the door. Take a look at that. That's nice. But what we're looking at today, everyone, is the FWK 2872 built by Schultz Homes. Now this is a four bed, two bath sitting at 1,920 square feet. The dimensions of this home, 72 feet by 27 feet and the base price for this one is $176,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? All right, everybody, let's see what Schultz has brought us today with this home. Walking in, the first thing I notice is all the windows have valances. That's a nice touch. And we have eight foot sidewalls, flat ceiling, tape and texture throughout with a nice crown molding and a built-in entertainment center. Look at that. The size of this living room is 19 feet 2 inches by 13 feet 4 inches. And before we get any further, do me a favor and do the channel a favor. Leave us a like. Let me know that you like this video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave that below. If you haven't done so yet, also consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so then that way you'll be alerted to when a new home tour is posted. You'll see these as soon as I release them. Now take a look at this entertainment center. Already built in, it's nice. You could put your peripherals and your TV down below. You could use the top for you know decorative items or whatever. That's a nice little touch. I like it. Now spinning around into the kitchen, taking a look, we've got the black appliance package with a smallish island right there, but it is an eat-in counter with a seating for about two. Spin it around, taking a look. We've got a pretty much a basic you know, open floor plan with your dining room right there in the middle. The size of that dining room is 10 feet 6 inches by 13 feet 4 inches. Now coming back over into this kitchen, we're going to take a look. Like I said, we have the black appliance package, but you can always change that for the white appliance package, for the stainless steel pack package, and you can more than likely change the color of these dark cabinets. So we're going to take a look at all of them and take a look in the inside of this nice construction that is not an adjustable shelf some of these are some of these are not I do like the uh, the tiling uh, for the backsplash that's pretty cool uh, the industrial style range hood is looking pretty nice over there I think that would look really good with a uh, stainless steel uh, uh, stove underneath I'd have to say and taking a look over here in that island you do have some drawers you got a drawer bank of four right there one up top the uh, the door and uh, plenty of storage, good quality construction, not too thin, you know, nice and heavy, pretty decent. Like in the, uh, the flooring there, we've got Congolian flooring in this home right here. And I do like the nickel finish on the, um, on the handles and everything. Those are looking pretty nice too. Um, again, I like that backsplash that goes well with the color scheme and pattern they've got going on. Um, and of course, like I said, this is an affordable four bedroom. So some things, you know, I mean, are more price point, kind of like that sink. That sink is a basic um, dual sink, but again, you can always change that for like an apron sink or something else. Now we're in the utility room, of course, taking a look around. Plenty of room for your side-by-sides there. And we have two doors. Let's see what's behind them. Ha, door number one is a water heater, which I think a lot of people are thankful for. You don't have to get your quarter inch driver, your screwdriver or anything. And it's right here in the utility room. And then, of course, right next door is the um, the HVAC unit, the furnace. Everything is all right here. So that makes it really convenient and smart, in my opinion. So that is pretty nice and you have a little bit of room over there you don't have much room for anything else except the access of those doors so no room for like any kind of freezers or you know anything like that and like i was saying the dining room here is in the middle of the home um right next to your sliding glass door um like i said i do like the uh, the valances 
Um, and I, again, I think you could pretty much change the color. So if you wanted a lighter color scheme in this kitchen, you absolutely could. So um, take a look at that. And if you want to know more information about that, um, I'll tell you a little more about that in a second. But this family room right here is 17 feet 2 inches by 13 feet 4 inches and plenty of room for little ones or guests, you know, just to hang out or play. But like I was saying, if there's, you know, there's some things you could change about this home. And there's a link in the description below. Click on that, it'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see some photos, see a 3D tour, see some more video, and get that pricing directly from a retailer near you. So if you want to learn more about this home, about the things that I don't cover, click on that and learn all about it. Now we are in the guest bath. Now the guest bath is looking pretty nice. Um, it's not too big, not too small. We have um, a, a single vanity there. You had a little bit of linen storage on the left hand side with those open cupboards. I do like the transom window, of course, up top. And this is a, a standard 30 by 60, but I like the design and style. Um, it's, I guess, somewhat hourglass shaped. Um, it's cool, but it does kind of cut into the, the, the bath size. What do you think? Let me know. You know. Now we're going to go check out the guest rooms. Now this first guest room, um, as a matter of fact, all the guest rooms um, are the exact same size. So if you do have little ones, nobody's going to be fighting for the, for the bigger one. This is 11 feet 10 inches by 13 feet 6 inches. And if you haven't noticed yet, I see the registers on the floor. So your heating and air coming from below. And now we're going to check out, uh, now th that's the cool thing about this home too, is each room actually has a semi walk-in closet um, in each room, which gives you more than ample, you know, storage space for toys or other things. And again, the size of this bedroom, you can easily fit, you know, a queen, a king size bed. And these are only the guest rooms. So, you know, um, four bed, affordable and big. I like it. And again, this second room is again 11 feet 10 inches by 13 feet 6 inches. This one has the smaller of the uh, closets. Semi. I said semi because, you know, you put one foot in. I guess you could call it a semi. Just kidding. Now, this home does have some really big windows, which I like. Of course, letting all of that natural light in, that is always appreciated in my world. And we have wooden coat rod and a wooden shelf built into the uh, closets which is uh, a good thing really you know a lot of times when you're looking at affordability um, you know manufacturers will use you know wire shelving or um, things like that that will bring the cost down but no no we got some wood in here so they're doing some some good stuff in here now we're walking into the third one and again 11 feet 10 inches by 13 feet 4 inches you know little differences like the windows like this one has two you know uh, the closet's a little different. This is the other walk-in one. I'll take a look at that in a second. But again, plenty of room, plenty of outlets against the walls. Um, all, you know, all the materials used in these homes are the same materials that you find at a construction site, at a construct construction zone. Um, I've been fortunate enough to be in the factories. Um, and film in the factories while they put these together and it's amazing because they have so much wood everywhere right but the wood is being heat treated taken care of it's not out in the elements there's a constant flow of work the way these homes are ran through the the factories are absolutely amazing um, the way they do the roofs all of that it's if you ever get a chance to take a, a, a home tour I mean excuse me a factory tour do it because you'll be amazed on what they do for these homes and how they build them um, you know and especially contingent on where you are they're built for your area so that's really rad um, so if you ever get a chance take a look take a look and we're walking into the primary now now the primary size is another big size room we've got 16 feet by 13 feet 4 inches and in here we have a queen size bed situated right there so that tells you how much room you have you know on either side of the bed you can easily put a king and right over there you know dressers a sitting area plenty of space in this in this primary room now let's go check out the primary bath this is a pretty decent sized room we're walking in. It has the same um, dark color tone for the cabinetry right there. A little lighter of a uh, uh, countertop with a dual vanity. Big mirror right there. And right here we have a huge 
shower with two seats on the side of it with that transom window up top, of course. And it's a wraparound design, one piece. So you don't have to worry about um, mold, those kind of things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it's about a six inch um, drop off there when you get out, so just to let you know. And right next door to that is where your toilet is situated. But you have a drawer bank right there. You have three drawers, two cupboards, uh, and the vanity. And your closet is located in here. Now, a lot of people don't like this, and some people do like this. So, do you mind the, the primary closet being in the bathroom? Or would you prefer it? In, in, in the bedroom. Let me know in those comments below. So, this is looking pretty nice. I like this home. I mean, it's rather spacious, rather big, and rather affordable. So, you know, if you get the chance or if you'd like to, go take a look at this home or click the link and learn more about it or even see a floor plan that is a close facsimile to this one because contingent on where you're at. Um, you know, this one might not be able to travel out there. But, you know, thank you everyone for joining me today. I truly appreciate the continued support with Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. And I, I intend to keep on going on. But until next time, everyone, remember to live smarter, choose manufactured, travel easy, and have a wonderful day.